stamping friends, it's Jackie Ballhuis and Clomp and Stampers. I've got a super fun card to share with you today. Now, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, this isn't necessarily a quick card. You know, I usually say my cards are quick and easy. It's easy, but it's a little putsy. We're going to do a little putsin, but it's still going to be easy. It's just going to take us a little bit longer than the cards that I normally make, but I think you're going to like it. I've got a lot of fun tips to share with you, different ways to use your dies that you might not have thought about, and I think you're going to like it. And as we go along, I'm going to share some information with you as well as I'm stamping. Because right now, in case you haven't already heard, Stampin' Up! has an incredible special for you to get your stamps at the best price you possibly can. The Stampin' Up! Demonstrator Starter Kit is normally $125 worth of products that you only pay $99 for. Right now it's on special where you get to pick out $155 worth of products, whatever you want in the whole catalog. You're going to only pay $99 for it, plus you get free shipping on it, so that's another like $15.50 in savings. So. I would love to have you join the Klompen Stampers. Now, don't let joining Stampin' Up! scare you off, okay? There really is no commitment. There's no obligation. There's no pressure. There's nothing. It's all about fun, and it's all about getting the best possible price in your products. For one, the starter kit is so good, okay? Why would you pay full price and, you know, spend $100 and get $100 when you can spend $99 and get $155? Plus, they're even giving you an additional $10 in free product when you place your first order down the road. So, but we're going to kind of chat a little bit more about that as we go, because what I really want to show you is a super cool card. And I want to also show you where I got the idea from, because it's kind of sneaky as well. So let me flip the camera down. Let's get stamping and we'll chat while we stamp. Now I warned you, this card isn't gonna fall into the quick category that I usually make, you know, my cards, they take me five minutes or so to make. This one's gonna take a little bit longer because we're gonna putz around a little bit. But we're using the Tasteful Textures Bundle. Now this is one I kind of glanced over at first. It didn't really do a whole lot for me. And then I read the words and I really love the greetings in here. And then I like the pieces. And then I kind of saw the dies and the possibility with the dies that come with it. And yep, I had to have it. So I have a fun card I'm going to share with you today using these products. So let's see. I don't even have clean good paper here. We're reusing this one from last time. Now, what we're going to start out doing, and we are using some super fun summer colors. We've got pineapple punch and blueberry bushel. And we're going to start with, and I don't even know what to call it, um, whatever you call this design. I'm sure there's a fancy dancy name for it. But we're going to stamp that in the center of a piece of scrap paper here, scrap whisper white. And then we're going to take one of the greetings and we're going to stamp in blueberry bushel right over the top of it. Take time to do what makes your soul happy. Then to cut this out, I am going to use the stitched label framelits. Now I know there's framelits that come with the bundle of this and we're going to use them in a little bit. But these stitched label framelits that are actually bundled with um, the bird, freeze a bird stamp set. And I know a lot of you have them because a lot of you picked them up when I offered that as my online class. Now I'm going to run this through my Big Shot. Now, remember, Stampin' Up! does not sell the Big Shot anymore. But since that's what I use, I will try to always show you the sandwiches with it. All of our dies will work in any other die cutting machine. So whatever you have um, will work. But I'm going to go ahead and usually I don't even show you putting on the platform. But I want to show you this one. We're going to line this up down towards the bottom here. Okay, so I want kind of centering left to right down towards the bottom. We'll put our top plate on and I'm going to go run this through and I'll be right back. Okay, here's where some of the magic's going to happen. You'll see we've cut this out. Um, let's pop that off of there. And it's down towards the bottom. I did not have one of these labels that fit the exact size I wanted. And so the reason I cut it down towards the bottom is I'm able to line this back up because of those stitch lines in there. When you put it on here, you can I mean, I can feel, I'm like wiggling it back and forth and I can feel it's like lined back up in there. But I wanna come down a little bit lower like so. Get that lined up, you'll feel it hook in there. And then we're gonna go cut it out again. There we go, that piece pops off. Ooh, we could do something fun with that. 
and there we go. Now we have the stitch label the size we need. So that's kind of a fun little tip. That's one of the first things I'm going to show you on this card. And there's going to be lots more tips as we go. Now, like I said before I started stamping here, Stampin' Up! has this fabulous starter kit special right now. You know, if your wish list seriously is over $100, just think about buying the starter kit. Like I said, there's no obligation. You can order the starter kit and by ordering it in July under this special, you will be an active Stampin' Up! demonstrator all the way through the end of January. That means every single order you place after the great deal in the starter kit, you get 20% off. Well, why wouldn't you do that? Why would you pay full price? So I would love to have you join the Klumpen Stampers. Um, if you have any questions whatsoever about that, make sure you ask me. Um, I love to share about Stampin' Up! I love to share about my Clomp and Stampers team, and um, I'd love to talk to you more about it. So let's get back to our card here. Now, I have just a piece that's four by five and a quarter of the blueberry bushel cardstock, and then here's one of the dies. Now, we are going to place this die. It actually cuts out the image. It won't cut out the outside part. It cuts out the little flowers on the inside. I'm going to place it on there, and I'm going to run this through the Big Shot, and then I'm going to show you something really cool. Okay, now, when we take this, I'm going to grab some scotch tape here, and I'm going to pick this up. And before I peel this die off, I'm going to flip it over, and I'm going to use scotch tape. And I'm going to tape all of these little flower petals down, because I don't want them to fall off. You'll see why in a sec. There, I think we got them all. Now we can carefully peel this off and you can see that they all stayed on there, which is exactly what I wanted. Now, typically they would all fall out and you'd have those holes in there, but that's not what I want. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do the exact same thing one more time down here. There we go, and same thing. Pick it up and we're gonna do some tape on here. Now remember, I said if you purchase the Stampin' Up! Demonstrator Starter Kit, there is no obligation. Um, Stampin' Up! does not require you to do parties or classes or videos or anything like what I do. That's completely up to you whether you wanna do that or not. Um, now people always ask about the minimum. Yes, there is a $300 quarterly minimum. And at any point, if you don't make it, they just drop you. So I like to think of it, for those of you that are hobby stampers, it's really kind of a membership. You buy the kit, which is a good deal. You have a membership of being a demonstrator and get all of the advantages of being a demonstrator for as long as you make it. And if you purchase or sell $300 by the end of January, then you've just renewed for three more months. And when you don't make it, well, then you just go back to being a regular customer. No harm intended there. So let's do this. Now you can see we've got everything taped on there. Now before we go any further, I'm going to take the same die and I'm going to cut out a piece of the um, pineapple punch. Okay, now with this one, let's set our platforms aside. With this one, I want everything to fall out here. So we're just going to pop that out. These pieces will just fall out. So now you can really see what this die is intended to do. But then we're gonna come back to our original piece here. And I want to replace a couple of these. So I'm gonna use my piercing tool. Um, some of you have this, otherwise the take your pick tool has a piercing end on it. But because I have that scotch tape under there, all I need to do is pick up that. The tape is still down there on the bottom. Let's see, oh, there we go. And then we can just take, and we're gonna replace some of these petals. Now I'm not gonna do all of them, okay? This is, I guess this is kind of an abstract looking card. Um, you'll see once I get it all together. So let's just kind of jump around here and we're gonna just randomly replace some of these. So um, like I was saying about purchasing the starter kit, when you join the Klomp and Stampers, which is my demonstrator team, some of the extra benefits you get are probably the biggest one is all my online classes. Some of you I know purchased a couple of my classes that I've been starting to do. You get all of those for free. So every month that's a $20 value. Um, I also share a ton of project tutorials for projects that are not shared anyplace else. They're exclusive for my team. Um, so they're tutorials, which you can really use those tutorials two different ways. One, if you want to do events, which you're absolutely welcome to do, you can use those ideas in your live events. You know, I do all the creativity part for you. Or if you um, 
are just a hobby stamper and you like lots of ideas, well, those tutorials are for you. You will have so many stamping ideas, you won't even know where to begin. Let's see how many, what I'm gonna do here, and I gotta kind of think now, is I'm gonna end up placing this here. And so I want to make sure I randomly have enough of these flower petals so they kind of cover it. Like I said, it's random, um, which I know some of you probably have a really hard time with random. I know a lot of people do, and I, I have to admit, I used to. Um, you know, everything had to be lined up perfect and even, so, but I think the more I stamp and the more I create, the more I try to, to be random. There, I think we're gonna stop right there. Now, as we continue with our card, we're gonna take a piece of, I always forget what's this called here. It is the flax ribbon. And we're gonna take scotch tape again. You know, this is one of those necessary tools. Oh, we don't need it that big. Necessary tools in your stamp room, I think. And I'm gonna take, and I'm just gonna tape a piece of this onto the back here of that. And we'll, we'll cut it off. This side, one side we're gonna cut at an angle. So let's just trim that off. And then we're gonna grab our dimensionals and we're gonna put several of these on here because we wanna make sure this stays popped up really nice. We'll hold that ribbon down a little bit more with one. How's that? And add on the dimensionals. You know, these are candy. We add these to every order almost, so we never run out of them. That would be horrible. I don't think I could survive in my craft room if I ran out of dimensionals. There we go. And, let, oops, sticky there. Let's go ahead and we're gonna pop that up right there, like so. Cricket there, there we go. And we can take our scissors and we're just gonna trim this flush with the edge. Now, to, before we put the rest of our card together, I just have a piece of four by five and a quarter of Whisper White. Now don't worry about these measurements because I will have these over on the website. There'll be a link down in the video in the description of the video that I'll send you over there and I'll list all of the supplies and everything you need to make these cards. But I'm gonna take just another one of the stamps and there is the floral image that matches the die. And then we have a piece of blueberry and we're gonna go ahead and put this on the inside. Just had to grab our liquid adhesive here, my adhesive of choice, and we'll put that inside like so. Now, as soon as I finish this one, I have a couple other using the same stamp set and dies that I want to share with you. And then this one, I think we're gonna pop that up, give it a little bit more dimension. Um, you know, when I get a stamp set, I always like to sit and create and make a whole bunch of projects with it at one time. It's kind of like, I think once I get rolling, the ideas start to flow and I can make a bunch of things at one time. So, hey, another benefit of joining the Klompen Stampers is we have a very active online community via a Facebook page. Okay, get that one off. Um, and we do a lot of fun virtual stamping events. One of my favorites is a mystery stamping event we do once a month. And you're given clues. Anyone can participate because we make it so that any supplies will work. But you literally get clues. Cut this, stamp this, stamp that um, to, to make a card. And you, you stamp right along with us. And then at the end, everybody shares their cards, which are all completely different. Um, and it's a lot of fun. So that's just one, one thing we do, plus some online stamping retreats and more. So there you go, guys. There is our card. Whoop, dimensionals everywhere. And you can see how fun that is for that. Now I wanna show you, this was not my original idea. I wanna show you where I got the idea for this. As a demonstrator, we get a monthly, no, not monthly, quarterly magazine that's filled with stamping ideas. And in the inside here, this is where it showed how to do this with the framelit. That's how I learned how to do that. And then here was my inspiration for the card. I just changed the colors up a little bit because I really like blue and yellow together. So I hope you like that card. Let me grab a couple other ones with the stamp set to show you. So here's this one, and here I just used the stitched framelit, the square framelits. I stamped a random background. We're all about random, I think, with the stamp set here, and just tied a little bow with that ribbon. And I'll have pictures of these cards over in that blog post as well, along with all the lists of the colors and the sizes, the card recipes for them, so that if you purchase this, you'll be able to make all of these cards right along with me. So here's another one. Here's this flower die. That's really, I think, what it's intended 
to do, but look at the fun texture that adds to a card. Um, is that one? And then here's the third one. I wanted to use all three. These are the three different dies that come as part of this. So fun randomness. And if you look through the catalog, you'll see this background die used in combination with a lot of other stamp sets. You don't have to just use it with the stamp set that it's bundled with. But you know what? If you're going to purchase it, purchase the bundle because then you save 10%. And if you add that to the starter kit, you're going to save even more money. Now, I know I've babbled a lot more than I normally do. So I hope you like the project because we're all about stamping here. But I truly hope that you think about joining the Clump and Stampers. Remember, there's no pressure. You know, and I've talked a lot about, you know, just getting a discount and being a hobby demonstrator. If you have ever thought, though, about making a business out of Stampin' Up, whether it's part time, you just want to share with a few friends once a month, or if you'd like to do a lot, like I do, I would love to have you also. I've been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator now for almost 25 years, and I have a team of five of us that are not really connected to each other. We're actually five top leaders in the company. We've band together to call ourselves Creativate, and we have kind of combined our five teams into a special Facebook group where we do every week, sometimes twice a week, we do live videos to make sure you know everything that's going on with Stampin' Up. We keep you updated on everything. We do lots of fun stamping ideas, business training. We have a whole library of business training. Um, between all of us, we help and support all of our teams, and we can help you do whatever you want with Stampin' Up. So whether you just want to get a good discount and join in the fun and make new Stampin' friends, or if you'd like to do this as a business, there is absolutely a place for you on Clump and Stampers. And I would love to chat with you more. Message me, leave me a comment or email me, or even give me a call. I'd love to chat with you and help you figure out if this is for you. And if it is, I look forward to welcoming you as part of the Clump and Stampers. So until I stamp with you again, have a stamp happy day.